this is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I align and snap the Gizmo 3D origin to a specific vertex? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a cylinder shape here loaded in. And the question is asking about the Gizmo 3D and snapping its origin to a specific vertex on your model. So to activate the Gizmo 3D, you first just need to come up here and click on Move, Scale, or Rotate, and the Gizmo 3D should now appear in your scene. Now if the Gizmo 3D does not appear in your scene, make sure you have this Gizmo 3D icon turned on. This will allow you to toggle between the Gizmo 3D and the transpose line. So if this is turned off, you'll get the transpose line, and if it's turned on, you'll get the Gizmo 3D whenever you have Move, Scale, or Rotate active. Now the question is asking about snapping the Gizmo 3D to a vertex. So by default with the Gizmo 3D, you can unlock it and then you can reset its orientation and also send it back to the unmasked mesh center of your model. But let's say I want to move it to a specific vertex. So you could attempt to do this manually by unlocking and then just repositioning the Gizmo 3D to try to get it on a point there. But that's going to take a lot of time and it's not going to be very precise. So in order to snap the Gizmo 3D to a vertex, all you need to do is hold down the Alt key and then click the vertex you want to snap to. So when you press down the Alt, you'll see that the lock unlock icon here is going to open up. So if I have Alt held down, you'll see it's going to be displayed as open. And if I release Alt, it's now going to be displayed as closed. So holding down Alt is going to allow you to temporarily unlock the Gizmo 3D. So when you have Alt held down and you click on a vertex point on your model, you'll see that the Gizmo 3D is going to snap to that point. So holding down Alt and clicking on a vertex, the Gizmo 3D will snap to that point. Now when you click on this vertex, it's also going to look at the vertex normal. So if I come to the side here and I hold down Alt and click on this vertex here, you'll see that the Gizmo 3D is going to snap to that vertex, and it's also going to be positioned or oriented along that vertex normal. So holding down Alt and clicking on that vertex is now going to apply the Gizmo 3D there. And you can use this by simply just holding down Alt and clicking to position the Gizmo 3D on any vertex of your mesh. Now let's say with the Gizmo 3D you want it to go to a specific vertex, but you want it to be aligned to the world. So to do this, you just need to come across the vertex, and instead of clicking, you want to make sure that you click and drag. So if I come across this vertex here and click and drag, this is now going to allow me to translate the Gizmo 3D after it is snapped to that vertex. So if I go horizontally here, it's going to eventually lock into that world origin. So now I have the Gizmo 3D positioned to that vertice, and it's also now aligned to the world origin. So if I come across this area here, hold down Alt and click on the vertex and drag, this is going to perform that snap there. And now I have the Gizmo 3D positioned and aligned to the world origin. So holding down Alt and clicking will go right to the normal of the vertice you click on. Holding down Alt, clicking, and dragging will allow you to go to the vertice and then align the Gizmo to the world. So that is the quick way in which you can use the Gizmo 3D with the Alt key modifier to allow you to reposition the Gizmo 3D to any vertex on your mesh. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!